Hello, first graders. Okay, we are going to do an experiment for science. But this experiment is going to be two weeks long. Something you need to do every school night, okay? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You have a project, but it has to be at the end of the day after dinner. Okay, so ask mom and dad what will be best for you to go. But we need our paper. This is on Google Classroom. I put mine on a clipboard. You can put yours on a clipboard or a book, or you can just do it on the floor outside. So you're gonna need your moon observation sheet. Then you're gonna need either a black crayon or a black marker or a black Sharpie, anything black, okay? If you don't have any of those, you could use a black pen too, but that'll be a little harder. So let's use a marker or crayon. Okay, you're gonna take your paper outside. You're gonna look up at the moon outside. Then you're gonna look and see, is it light or dark? And then color your moon so it matches what the moon looks like outside. So I'm gonna use my black marker. And on Monday, I went outside and I saw just a little bit of the moon was dark. So I'm gonna just color this side of the moon just like that. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna go back outside and see what it looks like tomorrow. We're gonna do it every day for this week and next week before fall break. Okay, I'm excited to see everyone's posters, papers. Okay, so make sure you print it off. If you don't have your printer and you don't wanna print it, you can just use a blank piece of paper. Draw a circle for the moon. Make sure you label it so we know what day. This is Monday. And then you're gonna go outside and color what you see on the moon. You see the same thing, it's dark on this side of the moon. So we're gonna color it in. So our moon on the paper matches the moon in the sky. Okay, and then Tuesday, you'll write Tuesday. And you're going to draw Tuesday's moon and then draw what looks like tomorrow. Okay, friends, I'm excited to see everyone's posters. I will see you next. Go to the next slide and see what's next in science. Bye.